The Embedded World, you just announced uh, the new Embed release, right? That's right, we've uh, just brought together our uh, Embed OS 5.4 release. Um, and this is a really cool milestone for developers because it allows developers the access of a certified uh, Thread 1.1 stack. It brings along with it sort of a Linux access point and border routers that allow you to actually build for applications for products that are undergoing certification and qualification from, from a Thread point of view. Um, and that, that's a great opportunity to develop for smart buildings and smart lighting and those applications um, that, that we are really seeing some very high growth in terms of devices on. So giving, um, giving uh, customers the opportunity, users the opportunity to have a very significantly improved out of the box experience. Um, the release is also supported by 71 silicon uh, platforms right uh, from the start. This is, uh, again, something we're really proud of, the, the investment and support, the, the collaboration that our partnership is driving. And uh, the release actually brings in some really cool features around um, file support systems um, so that you can build with more capable uh, applications that can take care of security. And we've been doing a lot of work around at Embedded World to actually showcase how developers can uh, build systems with strong entropy in the devices. So uh, there's a lot of contribution, right? It's open source. People are coming with their uh, suggestions and you're putting them in, but optimizing the code so it runs perfect in the Cortex-M, right? Has so to be very small. Yeah, one of the, the, the biggest challenges in IoT is how do you um, securely um, you know, update devices, manage devices um, through their life cycle, um, especially if they're really constrained and if they need to be operating at the edge um, in, a, in, a, in a sort of battery powered type manner for, for months and years. Um, so this is why EmbedOS is uh, focused on solving the problems with ARM's high efficiency Cortex-M architecture. And in terms of the, the EmbedOS release, we are actually releasing on a, on a bi-weekly cadence. One of the things that our quarterly release does is allows the contributions from all of our partners into a production release that everyone can uh, rely on and take into their design ends. So when you talk about Thread, it's about security, right? So Thread is about connectivity, it's about security. Um, so one example I would give is actually um, OpenAIS, which is a European um, uh, initiative, which brings together all of the key major lighting manufacturers. And so far the lighting industry has, has um, seen that there is actually quite a lot of cost in, in systems, not only in smart light end nodes, but also systems that go into actually controlling and offering the, the whole building management solution around lighting. So this needs an ecosystem, and, and Thread brings in that connectivity um, to really allow for a um, much more mesh networked environment um, within smart buildings, for example. So it's, it's about choosing the right range and right level of connectivity. But in many cases, we know that uh, you know, real wide-scale deployments of IoT require multiple protocols. So Thread is one of the mix of protocols, but now it's really getting to a point where interoperable stacks are available, and, and particularly our uh, embed OS uh, makes this this interoperable stack available to developers so that they can really just get on with developing their applications. And uh, maybe open source uh, security is a good idea, so maybe there's Opti, maybe uh, you are already anticipating the future M23 and 33, right? So we've been talking about how uh, security needs to be done in, in the kind of software world, uh, and this requires a fundamental change to how we think about device security, and so that's part of one of the things that I talked around, sort of strong entropy that uh, needs to be built into devices so that you can, you can have true no, uh, random uh, number generators uh, integrated. Um, this, this randomness really helps in how you can make sure that you can trust the, the, the secrets on your device.